my battery right here, which is going to this 150 amp breaker, which then goes splits. One goes to a 30 amp breaker, and this body ground as the two legs of that electrical. The other one goes to this platform, which contains five relays, and they're hooked up to all the ditch lights, bumper lights, all of those things. That all is wired to the back of here, so I have quick ways to add new stuff. But what I'm gonna look at today is just this connector and this wire, which is the ground wire. This is all run by eight gauge wire, and this is how I hooked up my dual battery. Okay, it runs all the way down the cab, all the way into this back panel, which then I can remove and access this Anderson connection, which if you're familiar with Anderson connects, also people call them forklift connectors, technical term Anderson. I have a different video explaining how to solder these, make these connections, but see? There you go. Finally, I slightly notched this piece so I can keep it installed. Still have everything work down in the corner. Next. I bought a SeaTech D250S dual solar plus alternator driven charger, also known as a DC DC charger. I'll put the link in the description. And I wired it specifically the way that it asks. That's for the solar, so I'm not using it. And then I wired it to an Anderson connection. And then I wired its output also to an Anderson connection. Then I bought this 100 amp hour battery and installed this NOCO battery box. And you'll see in a second, um, I installed on the top of it USBs, DC, just regular 12 volt, and it has a voltmeter. Also, the output of it, once again, another Anderson connection. When I'm ready to charge the battery, I take this Anderson connect, connect it to the DC DC charger, take this one, connect it to the vehicle. truck same setup 30 amp ground 